Multi-theme will help you in learning electronics. It will teach you to assemble the circuits to debug, turn and test them to observe and measure signals. User interface of Multi-theme is similar to the circuit board. The mouse serves as a tool and electronic components and devices are selected from menus and toolbars. Before you begin, go to Options to customize Multi-theme. Choose the first item of the menu, Global Preferences. In the open window on the top part, assign the standard PIN to denote symbols. On the top Save, clear all the boxes to save computer memory and speed up problem solving. Start each new product by choosing the item text from the menu Place. Click on the upper left corner of a blank screen and print there your name, identification number and the exercise caption and number. Immediately save the product. While working, save your model before each run and at the end. Otherwise, you risk to lose all the work done. The rule here is to start assembling with power sources. Many such sources can be found on the panel of virtual components. In addition, you can choose as a power source the universal function generator from the instruments panel. Just drag it with the mouse and drop on your virtual circuit board. After that, go back to the panel of virtual components for the next component, such as virtual inductor. Drag and drop it in the right place. Proceed in this way until you prepare for assembling all your components. Gently dragging, place them in the proper order. Do not forget about such important component as a ground. Find it among the power sources. Usually, without grounding, not a single circuit works correctly. To make it easy to carry out installation, flip and return components before assembling. To set the initial parameter values, use the drop-down menu Properties. In particular, the function generator needs in such data as waveform, frequency, duty cycle, amplitude and offset. Indicate the properties of each component of the scheme. For inductors, the value of inductance must be given and resistance for resistors. And now it's time to connect components. Just click on the desired terminal of one component, drag it to another terminal and then release. In this way, connect all the circuit components to each other. Now your scheme is ready. Save and run the program using one of the three ways. Click the simulation switch the Run Stop button or press the key F5. To stop the program, use the same ways. If no messages, it means Multisim simulates something. That's just what? You don't see anything? Oscilloscope will help you to see the signals. Drag it from the panel of instruments and drop to a blank place of the screen. Connect the channel A with the input of the required component and the channel B with the yield. Double click the icon of the oscilloscope and this device turns on the screen. Run the program and what are the signals of the linked channels are deploying in time. You see badly? Then adjust the oscilloscope. Set a white background by the reverse button, the scales in the scale fields and the AC or DC nature of the signals. You cannot distinguish input from output, then repaint the wire. Click a branch of the circuit and find the wire color in the drop-down menu. In the colors window, choose any color and click OK. By dragging two cursors on the oscilloscope, measure the time and voltage at two points of each signal, T1 and T2, as well as their differences. The oscilloscope registers instant use voltage values. To measure their magnitudes, the measuring instruments exist in Multisim. Stop the program, choose one of the voltmeters and connect it across the component in question. 
As always, don't forget the properties in the drop-down menu of the device. First and foremost, an AC or DC meter voltage is important. For current measurements, armatures are intended. Drop one of the armatures to the screen. An armature is to be inserted in series in the break of the circuit. Closely, need more space? Then the components can be moved apart. To do this, gently encircle the part of the scheme and drag it with the mouse to the free part of the screen, right or left. And now drag an armature directly to the desired branch of the circuit. If done correctly, it should squeeze in. If not, rip a dedicated wire by the delete key and link the armature manually. Additionally, there is a new universal multimeter on the instruments panel. It's able to measure currents and voltages, of course, when properly configured and connected correctly. Now rerun the program and watch the results of your labor. Everything works. Do not forget to save all files before proceeding to the next stage of work or to relax. Successful modeling!